Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, it was cool and cloudy across the entire Lone Star State as we saw plenty of that moisture move in from the west. We did see some of those showers move through the Concho Valley as well. Right now, we're seeing some showers up along the Red River as well as off towards our south again. Those are the only two real pockets of showers. Again, the showers that we saw move through here in the Concho Valley. We might have had it pass through San Angelo by about 3 o'clock as have since pushed off towards the east and began to fizzle out. That just leaves us with some of that cloud coverage across the area. So again, not expecting any significant rain as we go through the rest of tonight. This is looking off towards the west at our cactus cam again as we started to see those showers move through. It was one of those blink and you miss it, kind of those small towns of welcome to and you are now leaving some rain. Brought us a little bit of rain, some ben helpfully beneficial rain. But again, it's going to still have a lot to work to do as far as the drought conditions are concerned. None of those showers or storms were severe, but if they were, you would have gotten your alert on your weather radio. Again, if you want a chance to win a weather radio, go to our website, conchovalleyhomepage.com. Under the contest page, you enter a code word of the day. Today's code word is cloud. We've been seeing plenty of those clouds across the area. We're going to continue to see those clouds as we go into the evening hours. Again, temperatures right now, 70 degrees, a little bit cooler because of that cloud coverage. Increased dew points as well, almost hit 60 degrees. And those winds out of the south at 16 miles per hour. We're seeing those winds across the entire Concho Valley. Still out of the south, breezy with some gusts out towards the Sterling City and Big Lake area into the 30 mile per hour range. Otherwise, start to see those winds again continue through the evening hours as well. 60s and 70s for much of the area, 69 in Mason as well as Eden, 71 for Brady as well as Menard. So again, a cooler day, certainly below average as far as our temperatures go. As we go through the overnight hours though, that cloud coverage is going to hang on, keeping us a little bit on the warmer side while getting down into the mid 60s. Those rain chances really start to drop down, still hanging on to those southerly winds. And then tomorrow, the big warm up as those winds pick up and those skies start to clear out. Temperatures climbing into the upper 90s. 97 our afternoon high is going to be a hot one. And we're going to see it, especially out towards the northwestern parts of the Conjo Valley, where we see those really high. 90 temperatures might be a little bit cooler off towards the southeast temperatures are getting into the low 90s and upper 80s so again slightly cooler otherwise it'll take several days before we start to see those temperatures cool back down in towards the low 90s and then we see our next chance for some rain as we go in towards early next week going in towards sunday and monday and we'll see some of those isolated rain showers Clear for the weekend for the most part, but as we get into Sunday, that's when we see that trough push through. and We'll start to see some of those spotty showers. That eventually pushes off towards the east. And again, we'll be considering some cooler conditions as we go in towards next week. So 90s for much of the week ahead. We'll see that cold front push through late on Sunday. That drops those temperatures from the 80s to the 70s with rain chances returning for the Concho Valley.